Ghetto Gourmet. We in there now. This is what they've been waiting for. <laughs> Somebody say that. Man, y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me stop the intro. Mark Anthony there said, I'm scared she knows how to move weed papers with her mind. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. Hold on. No, it's not. This is just the intro. It's not too late to buy. You buy. You buy. <laughs> we just still at the intro. We had technical difficulties. <laughs> I'm scared. She, I'm glad y'all got a sense of humor, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Wilmington, Delaware in the building. I hope you wasn't out there when Inky had the business at the post office. You know what I mean? Good, good as a gracious, selling that 40 day fruit pad. All right, here we go. We are still at the intro. All right, we haven't even started the slide yet. Let's go. Here we go. I do the butterfly. I do the butterfly. Oh! He said he's Bay, to Harker Bay. Toronto Johnson. Hmm? I call for a more support on Brother Toronto. Let's go! And anybody who's trying to get out there. The scandal they want to get up. Yeah. I think they're going to survive. Check it out. I think they're going to survive. He says, dog, I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. I think the little boys, the rest, they was dead sleep anyway. They keep talking. I'll probably get the charge. They don't care what they say. This just the intro. And the people's brand sheep can't see them, and I can't be. Only the gods is my equal. You fool, you just my sequel. Let's go! Dogabay.com, it's going down tonight! Up to 85 us. Dip, dip, us. Trying to sell the lobbies. You already did. Who they got up in your head? Rent free. You want to know who sent me? Oh, let let oh, kid. I try to get him off the bed, but I'm... You got a poor froggy. I'm talking real crazy. I'm foggy. Couldn't see through the fog. Then I had to go the dog. Fuck it all in your ear. I'm like, you, you don't care. Like you have a certain life. Oh, yeah. And you really don't care, right? You don't care, right? Well, we don't really check that. Respect that. Since you said you ain't scared to die. You ain't scared to die. Blah, blah, blah. I laid them old boys to rest. They was dead sleep anyway. I laid them old boys to rest. They was sleep walking anyway. I'm the people's grand sheep. I ain't seen a man I can't be. I can't be. I laid them young boys to rest. Y'all ready? They were sleepwalking anyway. Sleepwalking anyway. I'ma take you on any day. Any day. Mission. New York. Cali. Where you at? What you thought? From that town to Baltimore. Every one of them was all raw. All raw. It's ready. I don't really think you want the problem. Hold up. Bring the car out. Back to a law, a law, law, uh, lay, lay, uh, hey. I try to get it off the bed, but I'm sleepwalking anyway. Sleepwalking anyway. Hey, sleepwalking anyway. Sleepwalking anyway. Wake up. I don't care what any say. I don't care what any say. And the people's grand sheep can't see the man I can't be. You mortals, that's my secret. <laughs> you mortals, you mortals, you just my secret. You 
you come after me. God. You know, that's my sin. He stays down the bay. He Toronto Johnson. Hey, 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 show everyone been waiting for so now what we're going to do is we're going to show some of you now first of all i want everybody to know that my wife had reminded me i'm gonna leave that alone let it be twisted i don't care my wife had reminded me that they had they had this thing 
that this generation called slut shaming. Anybody ever heard of that before? Press seven if you ever heard of that. If you didn't, just press six. Slut shaming. Anybody ever heard of that? It's this thing, right? My wife just reminded me of that this week. It's this thing where when people act like, excuse the expression, I'm only using the terminology. I'm only using the terminology because that's the terminology. I don't use this type of terminology in my everyday vocabulary. But with that being said, the idea of slut shaming is if a woman or a young girl act like a slut, you are not allowed to say anything. You understand what I'm saying? This is the new thing now. Like we cannot correct each other. We cannot put each other on point. This is the new thing. You know, in this generation, do y'all, re- y'all, it's people, everybody put seven, they heard of that. You know what I'm saying? That if a woman act loose, you're not, can't say anything. That's called slut shaming. <laughs> you're supposed to just let it fly. So if your daughter acting loose or your niece acting loose or your neighbor acting loose, you got to just let it roll. This is the craziest European concept I've ever heard in my life. Whereas though, if someone is acting filthy, dirty, and what they will call sluttyish, we supposed to just let it ride. Well, today could be one of those moments where I could be accused of slut shaming. <laughs> For real. Because listen, there was, a, 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 you know, in, in reality, I was considering the show, right? Uh, shout out, I see my sister Yasmin in the building. One love, sis. I see my sister Yasmin in the building. But I was uh, considering doing the show, and, and I was talking to uh, Yasmin and Albert Tula, and they was like, you know, which more can you do? You know what I'm saying? And I was like, well, you're right. Maybe we should move on to another topic. But then I thought about it. Why did I start this journey talking about Sinetta in Nepal? Why did I start it? Well, I started this journey. See, it's a saying in the Maury Science Temple of America that a mastermind can trace himself back and thus he knows. In other words, if you want to find out where you're going, all you got to do is trace yourself back to what initiated something. And when you trace yourself back, um, to what initiated the thing, you'll be able to see why you hit it in that direction in the first place. See, sometimes what happened, and this is just some wisdom before I get to my slides. Sometimes what happened, we'll set out on a task and somewhere in the middle of the task, we forget what we set out to do. You feel what I'm saying? We forget that we set out to destroy the devil because this is all about destroying the devil. This is all about destroying hypocrisy. This is all about putting your shame, pulling your dress up so that people can see your nakedness. Therefore, you won't come out here trying to act like you're holier than thou teaching some scriptures to some young girls without repenting. You got to repent first. You got <coughs> to you gotta reconcile your madness first before you start coming out here talking crazy. All right? And so I remembered that this was about knocking the brains out of the devil. And so I could have stopped out of remorse, but the devil don't give us no remorse. The devil don't give us a break. The lower self will not give us a break. Therefore, there is no need for me to give the devil a break. There is no need for me to give the devil a break. So. Take off my jacket. Let's get started. There is no need for me to give the devil a break. Let me fix my camera. Should have shined my camera up on my website so it can be brighter than it is on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to start off with this. Let me see what I got here first. Come here. So we know Nepal was known for portraying herself as a Hebrew scholar. 
So the question that's hanging now, we're going to ease into it. I'm going to give a review. Some of this stuff is going to be reviewed. And then we're going to bring in the fresh stuff. We got a whole hour. Let me make sure everybody can see that on the, what's the name? So the question at hand, you might call it slut shaming, but the question at hand, is this a harlot or a holy woman? On the, uh, on the internet, she tries to portray herself as a Hebrew Bible scholar. And in portraying herself as a Hebrew Bible scholar and being directed by Sinetta, it's all about cashing in. And this is why we're doing this, because it's all about cashing in. It's all about trying to get people to follow you for what you call scholarship. Uh, but in reality, what you really want to do is to sell some tickets to some live streams. That's what you really want to do. And so we're going to make it hard for you. Because if you're going to teach a thing, you should at least practice that what you're trying to teach. And so there is no reason to believe that this sister practiced those things of high science in the Bible. There is no reason to believe this because all around the Internet, what you will find is things like I'm about to share with you. You see what I'm saying? You're going to find things that I'm about to share with you all around the internet, but you got to be a good researcher. You're going to find things like this. All right. Then if you watch it on the internet, I mean, I put the children to bed because the first few slides is now, why am I finding these things on the internet? Why? Why is it that uh, Hebrew camps? Now, listen, I want y'all to take account now. I want y'all to take account because this is not some random type thing where I have two or three pictures. These are all over the internet. Anybody can find them if you know where to look, right? Anybody can find them if you know where to look. So the question becomes, is this a harlot? Or a holy woman. Now, again, I'm not calling no names, but I got to make a point here. I, I'm sorry if, if if you can't handle raw truth, this ain't for you. I'm not the I'm not I'm not the shaman that you're used to. I'm not the shaman that you're used to. I'm not the priest that you're used to. I'm not the sheep that you're used to. I'm going to tell you the truth and I'm going to give it to you raw, uncut, because this is the real world. This is the world where our children are being taught by those who don't even believe in what they're talking about. And this is how the scam begins to take advantage of our people. Press seven if you understand what I'm saying. You're going to have to call me what you want today because I'm going to be the first one to give it to you raw. Rem Chickenfoot might don't give it to you raw. The, the sheik of the Morris Science Temple of Alibaba ain't going to give it to you raw. The minister of NOI, and none of them going to give it to you raw. I'm going to give it to you raw because this is the real world we live in. All right? Don't let these people, don't let these people fool your children and your young men and women. You see this? Who sends out all of these type of pictures? Y'all see it? Look at that. And I just put, I put side that a logo over her eyes because I put side that a logo over her eyes because they were trying to say legally, you know what I'm saying? They were trying to use some old foolish stuff. Somebody said they don't see it. Oh, you should see it. It's on the internet. It's on the internet. Now, if you're not there, we just getting started. Go make an account. We got some new stuff coming too. Diamond Hand said, oh, baby, I like it raw. <laughs> I, I tell you, we ain't going to play with you tonight. Now, look. All right. Now, listen to this. Let's go back a couple. I just showed three pictures so far. Right? 
Somebody asked, where is it? It's on the website. It's on the website. Now, the question is, is this person qualified to teach you the Bible from the high science of the Bible, the high principles of the Bible? You follow me? Is this person? Because that was she was being sold as. Can somebody put the Hogabate.com in there so people can go see it if they want to see it? Um, I'm telling you, we're going to have shows twice a week. It all ain't going to be like this. We got some good research coming up in a minute. Y'all going to be shocked. Y'all going to be shocked. Um, but we got to get this one out the way first. Can you show a censored pic on YouTube? <laughs> Where my phone? I can show you what we what we looking at on the on the website. Let me let me not hold everybody up. You know what I'm saying? Now I ain't showing nothing on YouTube. People people like to attack my channel on YouTube, and that's why I created talkabay.com. Um. Now, if many people haven't seen it, Islam, Daryl Way. If many people haven't seen it, these are the pictures that there. I, I just want everybody to remember that Sinetta was selling this sister as a Bible scholar. And he create, he tried to create women's panels centered around the palm. I want everybody to understand that. And my objective is to show that this is another Sinetta's production. This is another hustler. Sinetta is trying to hustle. He has ran out the hustle. And it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work because he came against the Hawker Bay. So it definitely ain't going to work now. But he ran out the comedic hustle. And the only thing he left with is to try to attack Hebrews. And then he gets a fake Hebrew, Nepal, to ultimately attack Hebrews. Unbelievable to me. This is supposed to be a Hebrew sister. Now we know that traditionally Hebrew Israelites do not consider Egyptians or Kemetic brothers their, their kin, if you will. Now, many of us have evolved from that concept now. You know what I'm saying? Many of us, many, many Hebrew brothers and many camps have evolved from that now. But traditionally, Hebrew Israelites did not intermingle with brothers of the comedic persuasion. This sisters, this sister goes straight to a brother with a delusioned comedic persuasion, Sinatra, and then begin to attack Hebrew brother. Unbelievable to me. But in the midst of attacking, behind the scenes, this is what she sends out over the internet. Anybody, anybody see that? This is what it is. All over the internet, you ain't a researcher. You have to go to Moore's World TV exclusive. Moore's World TV exclusive. Are y'all able to see it? Sean Sean said yes. Where my phone at so I can make sure it don't stop on me? Where my phone at? All right, everybody. <laughs> All right. So they, they can see it. But these are the, this is not something that, listen to me. <coughs> Let me stop for a minute. If anybody watching on Morse Royal TV, I mean on TalkAbay.com, you and I know that all of these, all of these, let me stop sharing for a minute. Give me a second. Let me talk to you for a second. Anybody, I'm going to leave it up there. Anybody. You know, it would be a fluke if it was one or two around the internet. 
It will be a fluke. But so far, you see what I showed so far? It will be a fluke. Okay, one pop up. Da, da, da. But what I'm about to show, I'm showing one after another, after another, after another. And we ain't even get to the new stuff yet. I mean, I got some of the new stuff mixed in. But I know for sure the new stuff ain't even come yet. Watch. Unbelievable to me. This is what she sends out. I, hey, I apologize for any sisters who are offended by this, but this is a dirty job and somebody got to do it. I got to go down and get my sheep out of the pit on the Sabbath. I got to do it. I got to do it. If your sheep fall in a pit on a Sabbath, do you go get it? Let me break that down to you. I got to do the work that ain't nobody willing to do. You understand what I'm saying? I got to do the work that nobody is willing to do. I got to do it. Because we're going we're gonna to cut, we're going to cut these, we're going to cut them off. We're going to cut the devil off. The devil ain't getting no play. None whatsoever. Look at Sinetta's face. <laughs> Look at Sinetta. <laughs> That's right. And if I offend any sisters, I, I, I apologize. <laughs> but I got to get the devil. I got to knock the devil out. <laughs> I got to knock the devil out. Y'all, oh, let me stop. Let me stop. Y'all want me to shut this down now? Is that enough? Or do y'all want... <laughs> hey, Keish. Hey, Keish. Do I continue to knock the devil out and give the devil a break? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> What do I do? Somebody say, put the website in the chat. Uh, <laughs> Crip say, no, nah, they done paid. They done paid, Grand Sheik. You can't back out now, Grand Sheik. <laughs> Keith say, empty the bag. <laughs> you can't back out now, Grand Wait till we get to the end of the joint, though. <laughs> this is crazy, man. I'll tell you. <laughs> These people crazy, man. These people in this conscious community is nutty as a fruitcake. <laughs> they really think they really think they got something going on, man. I'm trying to tell you. These people are crazy for real. Woo! I don't know why they mess with me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't have no clue why they mess with me. I'm the wrong one, because I'm kamikaze. I'm going to go all out till it's done. <laughs> I ain't going to play with you. I'm going to go all out. I don't care what nobody say about me. I don't care. Oh, he beat up women. Uh, whatever. Okay. Make up your lies. Make up your stuff. Okay. He did this. He did that. I don't care. You, know, you can't. <laughs> I don't care what you say about me. The Black Pearl. Shalom. Yeah, we getting this. We getting this people out this camp today. You see. And this is what they sent out right here. This is all. This is what they sent out. I didn't send these out. That's right. I didn't send these demonstrations out. All I did was research and find them for you and collected them. You can't blame me when I collect them. You know what I mean, I just collected them, not for me, but for the people. I'm a married man. I could care less about this foolishness for real. You know what I'm saying? All right. I mean, I got to do the work now. I got to do the work up in there. We getting work done tonight, family. <laughs> I ain't, she at home right now. She probably got a secret account looking at targabay.com. And that's right. She was, she singing Khalees song. I hate you so much right now. I hate you so much right now. Talk about I hate you so much right now. Yeah. Just ought to. You just ought to. <laughs> yeah, she might. I think she with all these pictures out here, she might got an adult site. Look at this. Look at this. Anybody see that? Look at this. 
This is the Hebrew Israelite. This is the Hebrew Israelite. I told y'all I got more pictures than Sinatra. Yeah. Listen, this is the Hebrew Israelite. Yeah. Now you tell me what woman of a religious persuasion would have all this out on the internet. This is either bait or she has an alternative lifestyle. This is either bait or she has an alternative lifestyle. She's baiting somebody. Stupid Sinetta fell for the bait. Stupid Sinetta fell for the bait. You know, after being a crackhead or a dope fiend in the 90s, he thought he didn't came up on a, a jackpot. And she thought that she came up on jackpot because Sinetta was going to give her some of that YouTube money. Well, she probably found out the hard way that ain't no money in YouTube. It's a little coins, but ain't no money in YouTube. Not no real money in YouTube. This is why Sinetta always begging for cash apps. Because ain't no money in YouTube. That's why I keep begging for cash apps. Get it together. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no money in YouTube. And she figured that out when Sinetta wouldn't send her no money. And that's why they've been silent right now. This is why you know that if they come back, they're going to come back with a more polished approach. They ain't going to come back with that foolishness because they're going to have to get some money now. They're going to have to get some money. And I agree with Alma Tula. She's going to have to heal. They're going to need some money, so they're going to have to come back with a better approach. Now, who sends somebody a picture? <laughs> she acts just like a European. She sent somebody a picture coming out the tub. <laughs> Y'all see this? <laughs> she in the tub. <laughs> Y'all see this? <laughs> this look crazy. She look like she. She like she in pain. <laughs> Look at how her knee twisted. <laughs> so I gotta come get your girl. It ain't even a hot tub. It's one of the $55 motel tubs. <laughs> it's one of my one of my tubs over in Brooklyn when I lived in the hood in Brooklyn. <laughs> so I gotta stop laughing. Come on, so I gotta get your girl, man. Oh my God, man. Yeah, this stuff got to be dealt with. Somebody got to do it. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, that's that tub when everybody was broke and your mother's like, now you can do it up here and get in this tub. It's hot, Ma. Now you better get your up here and get in this tub. Got to go to school in the morning. Now you get up in this tub. You and your brother. <laughs> your brother want to want in, you want to help in? And if you got a sister, they go by themselves. That's how I was in my house. That's the tub. That's the little hood tub. <laughs> I'm the only one got the world like that. Both of y'all, you sitting there, you sit right there. That's right. We little, little titty boys. <laughs> Be my brother. That's right. I'm going to make sure you get that tub. That's my number tubs right there. That's right. Somebody said, I think she's trying to corrupt the Hebrew community. Well, it's too late now. She was trying to corrupt the Hebrew, the Hebrew community. I mean, yeah. And if anybody on the website, there you go. All of these are different pictures. Tub full of water. I bet that water nasty. <laughs> there you go. I hope my wife ain't watching because she's going to get on me. But I, I got to do what I got to do. She's still a sister. That's my wife said. She's still a sister. Yeah, sisters can be the devil too when they run with the devil. 
she's still a sister. That's my wife said. But she's a sister. <laughs> okay. Them sisters, just as dangerous as these devilish brothers. That's right. All right. Damn. All right. There we go. Let me stop sharing. That was a first, first round of clips that I wanted to share. Oh, let me get one more. Let me get one more. This is how this was given to me. So I got to give it how it was given to me. All right. I didn't put the, I didn't, I didn't uh, put the cover up on this one. This is just how it was given to me. But I'll share it with you. I'll share it with you. <laughs> Look at that, John. <laughs> this girl's a fool. This girl's a fool. <laughs> You see this? This is some foolishness, man. This is some fool. This is a whole foolishness. <laughs> this is a whole rack of foolishness, man. I, I got to do it, man, but this is some foolishness. <laughs> Cryptonomics. Now, you tell me this ain't some foolishness, man. I got to do it, but hey. I already know it's some foolishness. <laughs> this is crazy, man. And I ain't gonna, you know what I mean? I'm a mm -hmm. wow. But this is what people do, fam. This is what people do. This is just what they do. I don't know what to tell you. This is what they do. Hold up, I might, I might have forgot. Let me see something. I'm gonna make sure y'all get everything. Um, um, hold up. Because I forgot somebody. Somebody uh sent me something. I ain't finished yet. I ain't finished yet, but somebody sent me something. And I forgot to um see something. Let me see what I gotta find it in a minute. Before we close out, I'm gonna look for it. Wait a minute. Before we close out, I'm gonna look for it. Let me see. Give me one second. Oh, that was videos. I don't want. I don't want to show y'all no videos yet. Hold on. All right, don't worry about it. Let's go. Let's go to the next slide. All right. So now, let me stop this. The next slide is going to be a video. It's going to be a video. I think it might be a video that we had, or it might be a new one. Let me see. I got some stuff mixed up, so I'm just emptying the bag. You know what I'm saying? Just because she, just be a righteous freak. I'm just saying. <laughs> my thing is, is stop trying to portray yourself as for something that you're not. That's that's my whole thing. You know I mean, be whoever you want to be, but don't try to front and try to sell people into something that you are really not. Um. Oh yeah, so I'll show this one first. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through my videos real quick. Y'all might have seen this one before. Okay, that's one. That's one. Now these are videos that she had sent out uh over the internet. Um uh whether whether she got her only fans or whether uh, she got some stuff going on in other places. I don't know, but you can find them on the internet if you know where to look. There you go. This is foolishness. This is foolishness. <laughs> hey, I got to do a shout out to my brother S I L. <laughs> brother, I'm doing the dirty work tonight. I'm going. To, I'm doing the dirty work tonight. I mean, I'm doing all the dirty work, man, to teach the people, man. I got to teach the people. Uh, 
I got to do it. It's unfortunate somebody got to do it, but I got to do it. Okay, I'm going to put another video file up in a second. I think this one, everybody's seen this one. This one. There she go. It's in that down. So this is another video that's been sent out on the airwaves. There, go right there. <coughs> and it looked real dirty. <laughs> Listen, I'm just doing the dirty work. Thumbs up, everybody. Now, the thing is with these videos and with these pictures, I got another 30 minutes, family. The thing is with these videos and with these pictures, um, why is it so many of them? Why is it so many of them? You follow what I'm saying? The reason why there's no furniture, because I think this is a set and she may not be who she says she is. And these videos and these pictures was used to debate, to bait somebody. You feel me? That's how, that's how I see it. I see that these videos, uh, as well as these pictures, because it's too many of them. It's too, too many of them. And I'm not even halfway through yet. It's too many of them. And we've been here in an hour and 14 minutes. We probably started about 45 minutes ago, uh, 59 minutes ago, an hour. We've been in, a, in an hour. It's just too many. It's too many. And the thing is, is that, remember, Sinetta said that nobody got no pictures of my wife. That's what he said first. Then he changed. One person got pictures of my wife. And now it's so many out there. How can he say one person got one? These are, these, these. Sinetta is just a simp. He's a real simp. You know what I mean, he's a real simp. When, like, if somebody would have said to me, "Man, we got pictures of your wife," <coughs> et cetera, et cetera, one of the first thing I'm gonna do is, baby, now listen, baby, now listen. I think I know you. I really do. But if you got something you need to tell me, I need to know now. How many pictures you done sent out there? <laughs> I only sent one. And that was one when I was just playing around. And I flashed. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> so that's a real sip. That's unbelievable. That's a real sip. All right. Let's go to the next video. Somebody said, fix, she has a whole portfolio. But why did, why do I end up with them? You feel me? Why do I end up with them? That's the weird thing about that. Oh, no, I, I'm going to show that one next because that's a new one. That's a new one. Let me show this one. There you go. This lady crazy. This lady crazy. And signed that and said, hey, this is my wife. Okay. No. I ain't say videos, though. Already knew that. <laughs> I say nobody got no pictures. I ain't videos. You got that to Arca, baby. That's right. You got that to Arca, baby. I ain't say videos. I just say pictures. <laughs> All right, that one. Let me pull this one out. <laughs> Whew, this is exhausting, man. This takes a lot of energy. Man, I got to do what I got to do, though. Somebody got to do it. Let me see. All right. <laughs> now, look at that. There you go. Morse World TV exclusive. <laughs> This is some ridiculous foolish, this man. This is some ridiculous foolish. I'm sorry, fam. I got to do it. <laughs> Ghetto Gourmet said, <laughs> do you see this foolishness? Oh, let me stop for a minute. 
Let me stop for a minute. Ghetto Gourmet, do you see this foolishness, man? Who is Ghetto Gourmet JCs? Press seven if you see this. Do you see this? <laughs> Ghetto Gourmet, come on, this is not about lust. <laughs> this is not about lust right here. This is about a Hebrew, proclaimed Hebrew sister trying to teach the Bible and charging people to teach and edify people when on another platform, she getting busy like this. You won't sell nothing in this town. That's all this is about. You won't sell nothing in this town. Sinetta, you won't sell this. This is about you won't sell this in this town. Sinetta, you won't sell uh, uh, her debating anybody. You won't sell her teaching the Bible until she make a speedy reparation. She gonna have to make a reparation. She had to say, you know what? Yeah, I was acting like a fool. I was acting like a fool. Yeah, these are the repeat. The new ones are on the way. I got, I got a new one coming up right behind this. I I said that at the beginning of the show. I'm going to recap. And I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you the rest of it. Comedic Hebrew. You got it. All right. I think the next one. Is going to be the new one. One of the, one of the new ones. You know what I'm saying? One of the new ones. You follow me? Somebody say, this I seen this one. <laughs> I came for some new stuff. <laughs> I came for some new stuff, Grand Sheet. What you got new? <laughs> what you got new in your bag? I, I, I'm mixing it all in. I'm mixing it all in because I can't remember what's new and what's not. But I'm mixing it all in. Anybody watched it will be able to tell what's new and what's not. You know what I mean? But I think this one coming up. Yeah, she has no shame whatsoever. She has no shame whatsoever. And I think this one here. <laughs> All right, now here we go. I don't know how long this one is, but let me see. Here we go. <laughs> now listen. This is ridiculous. No. This is just ridiculous. And why she always wears, is, is that a new thing that uh, um the lingerie thing? I thought that was only in the movies thing with the with the little garter belts and all of that type of stuff. Is that the end thing now? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I might sound crazy. Yeah, man, God of belts I ain't never go out of style. <laughs> what you been doing, Grand Sheik? <laughs> God of belts always been in style. <laughs> I don't know what you be doing, Grand Sheik. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? Yeah. Shoot. God of belts ain't never go out. Victoria's Secret got all types of God of belts. <laughs> What's up with the garter bells, though? Is that what they call? <laughs> and then she tried to do for now. She didn't did it from the back, from the side, from the front. <laughs> I'm gonna ask my wife. My wife ain't got no garter bells all day. I mean, I'm just glad. Let me stop. I'm being goofy now. I'm being goofy. My wife going to knock me inside my head in a minute. I'm, I'm surprised I got away with this this long. All right. Let me clean. Let me clean this bag out. Get rid of these. That's all right. Man, I got to do it, family. I uh, apologize for any of my subscribers who don't understand my angle. Um, but this is the angle that I must take in order to knock this foolishness out the box. You know what I mean? So I never like to play games. So with that being said,
we're going to play these games. All right? We're going to play these games. Oh, let me see something. So I never like to play games. So we're going to play these games. Now, where is, hold up, is that it? Did anybody see this one? Oh, hold up. I'm about to screen share. Now, y'all know this. I got a bunch of pictures. So, I got 30 minutes. Because I'm timing this now. It's supposed to be an hour and a half. We are hour and eight minutes in. There we go. Somebody say I'm selling pornography at this point. Okay, I'm going to put you right there. <laughs> you guys know I mean? Say, hurry up and clean that bag. And probably, that's right. Now, here's one. There's another one. Somebody say I'm selling porn at this point. What's up, Rashida Terry? How is this selling Porn. What are you talking about? Calling people, calling the spade a spade? Calling the spade a spade? Not letting people come in and manipulate our people? Pretenses? And the part is like he messing up my side hustle. Now, her side hustle is good. <laughs> oh, no. All right, but that's, yeah, that's how. That's done. That's done. That's done. Yeah. I'm sorry, family. I apologize, but I got I got to do it like this. I got to do it like this. I got to do it like this. My apology. Put the children to bed. My apology. Uh, Yasmin said, empty the bag. I'm emptying the bag. My apology. My apology. Let me stop that for real. I I I, I got to do it. I got to empty the bag. Now, there's a few that I'm going to hold back on. I got to. Now, if I got something like that, you know, I got. <coughs> you know what I got. Let's put it like that. And so when Sinetta want to creep up and talk slick again, or she want to creep up and talk slick again. I mean, somebody say check my internet connection. My internet connection is pretty good. Let me see something. My internet connection should be straight. Hold on. Let me make sure. Put my phone going. Make sure the live stream is still going. Oh yeah, the live stream is still going. The live stream still live. We good. We good. Sean, Sean, just empty the bag. My screen is good here. Is my screen blurry on uh, YouTube? Because on the website, it's pretty clear. Okay, I'm good now. What was that on YouTube? Just so I know. All right. All right, all right, all right. I just seen that now. Okay. So again, okay, on YouTube, T Sessions L. Appreciate you, bro. Um, I just wanted to say that this is something that nobody else would do. Nobody will else, nobody else will go to this extreme. You follow what I'm saying? And if we want to clean something up, at some point, we have to go for the sacrifice. We have to go to the extreme. And the extreme is, is to expose these frauds in a way that they have never been exposed before. You understand what I'm saying? So when you see, like, let me show you something. What people don't understand when we deal with people like, say, an Inky, like, I got a whole bag full of information 
And I have a whole bag full of information to really wipe Inky out. But I'm going to leave him alone because that information, it, it, it somewhat intermingles with his wife, his children, and I really don't want to get into that space. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I could, if, I'm telling you, like I got, I got conversations. I got conversations with sis, laying it all out. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Rashida. Sorry for, uh, sorry for the super super chat. Appreciate it. I can't share it on the screen because I'm going through a different platform there, but I thank you and I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody said Inky is already done. Exactly. Exactly. And this is why I'm 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 just let you got weirdos still making videos, Southside. They still making videos, but but they actually making me popular within the algorithm. So I let them do what they do. Um, but I have Hours and hours and hours of conversation with Inky's children, mother. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. But I don't like to get into that space where the children, because it's a lot of accusations going on surrounding the children and all that. I think that's not a good space to be in. Um, although he jumped out the window uh, for no reason besides him not being on the platform and he attacked my whole family. I'm not going to go that route. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, let me let me dig just a little bit deeper. See what else we got here. See what else we got here. Hold up. Okay, so that was that. So I got, let me, let me. So again. Now all of these ain't super freaky diggy. It's just the point. It's just the point that these pictures are all over the internet. You follow me? This is the point that I'm making. The point that I'm making is not the show buns, breasts, and privates. That's not the point that I'm making. The point that I'm making is that this sister was, before, before I came out with this, this sister was masquerading as a Hebrew Bible scholar, as a consultant or uh, a co-host on Sidenetters TV. You follow me? And he was selling this sister. And what I mean by selling, he was trying to advertise her as a Hebrew scholar. You follow me? He was trying to advertise her as a Hebrew scholar. And sell lectures to people. You follow me? That was his mission. And to sell lectures to people. You follow me? So I got new and old all mixed in here. Set it up. There you go. Somebody say, dang, I thought she was deep. <laughs> hey, hey. Looks like y'all promoting her and found a slick way to market her pictures. I sure did. You should appreciate the point, point of view because it makes, you should appreciate that point of view. Looks like y'all promoting her and found a slick way to market her pictures. Well, let me say this. Let me say this. This wasn't supposed, supposedly, 
to see the light of day. See, before, before this came out, she was known as a Bible scholar. So if her mission was to promote this, she went about it the wrong way. So Tayyadi Samuels, she went about it the wrong way. She could have promoted this herself. She could have promoted this herself. So I believe, let me stop the share real quick. I believe that she was using this for bait. I believe she was trying to cause disruption in Hebrew camps. I believe she teamed up with Sinetta to further that corruption in Hebrew camps. This is why Sinetta whole show is based on disproving or attacking the Bible. Because somebody is paying him to disrupt his Hebrew camps. That's the fact of the matter. Somebody, somebody is paying. I mean, why would somebody be so hell bent on disproving the Bible? I mean, how many times can you say that this not real in the Bible? This not real in the Bible. This ain't right in the Bible. This ain't not in the Bible. Blah, blah, blah. How many times can you say that before it becomes redundant? And he just keep doing it over and over and over. And the thing is, many Hebrews have knocked him out the box as it relates to the information and the common sense of the Bible, because Sinetta truly don't understand allegory. He don't understand metaphor. He, don't, he doesn't even understand concepts of, 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 of similes that's in the Bible. He doesn't even he, he doesn't, he doesn't understand that. So for him to continue to attack the Bible, continue to attack Hebrews, and then bring a sister that's supposed to be a Hebrew uh, Israelite, and now she has been through all the camps. And now she's with Sinetta. It, it, it clearly seems like uh, uh, some operation going on. But then I do the research, as I said before, I do the research. And then I start finding all of these pictures floating around the Internet. And I find out, like, hold up, this ain't no Hebrew priestess. This ain't no Bible scholar. This is not no Hebrew Israelite sister. Not acting like this. Now, here's the funny video I want to share. Let me see if I can find it real quick. This one here is unbelievable. Look at this one here. Hold on. Check this one out. That's the grand finale, man. This is some foolishness. <coughs> Gourmet, where I get all this stuff from, man? <laughs> Ghetto Gourmet, where I get all this stuff from, man? Uh, did y'all see this foolishness, man? You know good well. <laughs> you know good well. Ain't no sister running around acting like this. This sister, this sister here, if she is sister of any sort, she's a plum fool. <laughs> Let me rewind this, y'all. This is some goofy stuff here. Hold on. This is some goofy stuff here. She literally set the camera up for this. She literally set the camera up. You know, she had to think this out. Everything that I'm showing you, she had to think this out. <laughs> and she set the camera up. This is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to set. See, real quick. 
let's go into the mentality of how this stuff happens. Because sometimes we forget how things happen. And as I said earlier, a mastermind traced themselves back and thus they know. Now let's see if we can follow the thought real quick. What made this sister, who claims to be a Hebrew Israelite Bible scholar, say today, whatever day this was, I'm going to set up this camera and I'm going to shake my behind and I'm going to send it on the internet. What makes this, what mentality makes this okay? That's just a rhetorical question. But now look at how goofy this, this is supposed to be sexy. According to her, I would imagine. But look how goofy this looks. That you literally set this camera up on the floor. On the floor. In an empty apartment or hotel. And here you go. Watch it. We got seven minutes. Let me see. Make sure everybody can hear. Let me check. <laughs> right, say, wait, I ain't see it. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up, one second. We about to shut down in a minute. And you go back and watch it. If you got a membership, you can go back and watch it. Hold up, hold up, what happened? It's still stream, hold up. Somebody say, why, John? Why are you pausing? Hold up, hold up. What happened? Oh, it's still on. It's still streaming. I wanted to make sure that it was still working. It was still working. That's all. That's all. It's still streaming. I wanted to just make sure because somebody said they didn't see it. All right. It's still streaming. All right. Here we go. All right. That was it. That was it. That was it. I want to make sure it was still streaming. All right. So now let me run back. With my intro video real quick. Oh, this is my new phone. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I got some more. I'm going to let this play out and I'm going to look for this other little pieces that I got. Give me one second. My husband is a king, but guess what? I'm a queen. My husband is a god, but guess what? I'm a god. I will fucking blast the hell out of you motherfuckers. I'll kill all of you if I want to, but I'm a good God. I'm a very righteous God. Thank you. 
I let you live. I got one more for y'all on the on the on the knockout. Because I said an hour and a half, and an hour and a half it is. So I'm going to give you one grand finale. Yasmin said, empty the bag. And uh, this is my empty in the bag at this time. Again, uh, I want to uh, apologize. In fact, let's run through it all first. Let's, before we go, let's run through it all. Let's run through it all. Move this out the way. Let's run through it all. First of all, let's run through some of this stuff. All right, we're going to run back through it real quick. We'll start with where we started at, and I'm going to go through. I ain't even going to talk. We're going to run through it all real quick. All right. Now this just goes to show. Bam. I ain't even going to talk. We'll run through it. We're gonna run through it. Now all these pictures. All this. All these pictures. Thank you for all your support, family. And anytime somebody come in our community and try to play games, it's up to somebody to expose them unless they make a speedy reparation. There we go. Gano Grills, he on the list. He on the list. He on the list. He on the list. Make no mistake about it. He on the list. Hold on. I want to make sure that I got everything. Hold up. I got, let me make sure. I don't want to make sure I ain't miss nothing. I, got, I know I got some more. Hold on one second. Got to get to my. Got to get to my. Uh, there we go. To my download file. <laughs> oh, no. No, not that. Can I already show this one? I think I did. Just in case I didn't. Right, I'm gonna empty out what I want to empty out right now. I think I did. And Jay, what Jay said, yeah, Jay, if you remember, you can rewind this. If you paid $3.99, you got 72 hours to watch it. 
The throne membership, this will be uploaded in the throne tomorrow. This will be uploaded in the throne tomorrow. This will be uploaded in the throne tomorrow. I always do the throne the next day. Hold up, hold up. All right. Let's try to make sure. I want to thank everybody for supporting Moore's World TV. All right, now let me go to my other folder. Stand by. Stand by. Desktop. Go to my other folder real quick. That's not it. That's not it. Hold up. Go to my other folder real quick. Make sure. All right. Y'all ready for the grand finale? Ah. All right, this is going to be a quick flash. It's going to be a quick flash because I don't really want to do this, but I got to do it. I got to do it. This is what she sent out. Damn. That's what she sent out. If you didn't see it, I flashed it real fast. That's what she sent out. Who in there watching from the website? That's what she sent out. So if I got that, you know I got more. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like that. And that's how we're going to end the show. Appreciate all your support. The next show, we're going to get into uh, digging in. <laughs> Somebody say the box. <laughs> Listen, we're going to expose some of this knowledge. Some of these knowledge pimp pimps. Gaino Grills, Brother Rich. We're going to expose some of these knowledge pimps. And we're going to get into some of the stuff that only research is going to bring it to you. Only research is going to bring it to you. So, so if you're interested in research, if you're interested in knowing some things that you wouldn't formally know, just like we would never know this level of information as it relates to Nepal and Sinetta, if it wasn't for the research. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hear what I say? Press seven if you understand what I'm saying. Although this may seem freaky deaky. Although this may seem freaky deaky, right? However, this just exposes the level of hypocrisy. This, this exposes the level of hypocrisy that we are confronted with. Now, if people want to act as if, if people want to act as if I'm the bad guy, it's because they have fed into this concept of what we talked about at the beginning of the show, slut shaming. You know what I mean? Like, this stuff needs to be pointed out. I apologize for my holier-than-thou guests, my holier-than-thou members, my holier than thou friends, but this stuff need to be pointed out. See, before Tarka Bay, everybody would try to water it down. Before Tarka Bay, they wouldn't bring no principle as it relates to pointing something out, but teaching a higher standard of living or concepts, if you will. Many people would try to do that out of anger, out of revenge. What I'm saying is that this is not acceptable for one who's stepping out the front and trying to teach biblical accuracy or biblical principles to raise the bar until they close that chapter. Until they close that chapter. Or this was all a part of the plan. Because how are you, how are you teaching the high science of the Bible, but sending this to Hebrew brothers and Hebrew camps? And over the internet, got all of these pictures out there. You follow me? And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, remember, Sinetta said that 
No one has pictures of my wife. Remember he said that? No one has picture of my wife. Remember? Then he went on to say, oh, one person had pictures of my wife. Because she was in a relationship. But according to this one person that Sinetta was talking about, they never even seen each other in person. Why would somebody send pictures to someone that they have never seen in person? And why is it so many of them? Y'all see how many pictures that I show? Did y'all witness that? Why is it so many of them? Because there appears to be an agenda going on. There's some type of agenda going on. And whatever it is, you don't want to be on the receiving end of it. That's all I got to say about that. You don't want to be on the receiving end of it. Let me see one thing real quick. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be on the receiving end of it. Let me check. I'm going to make sure. In fact, I'm not that. Let one second before I close out. And I just hope, I hope they don't bother me no more. Because Yasmin said, leave it alone after this. Yasmin said, leave it alone after this. And that's what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, attacking Hebrews all the time and acting as if, and acting as if uh, you, uh, as the, <laughs> The, 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 the person in the chat named Light Bearer. As if you're the Light Bearer. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. And, you know, I know Hebrew brothers probably would not be able to go and do this the way that I'm doing it. I know a lot of Moorish brothers who are like, what is Grand Sheik doing? I'm sure you how to take Satan out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you an example of how to take Satan out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you an example. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how you don't play with the devil. That's what I'm going to show you. You don't play with the devil. You're either going to take him out or you're going to take you out. That's it. And whatever you need in this social media era to take him out. You just take the devil out. Just take him out. Look at the devil right there on the screen. Sign that. You take him out. All right, just take the devil out. Don't play with him. Whenever you're up against the devil, I don't care if it's social media. I don't care if it's on the job. I don't care if it's in your neighborhood or in your family, whether it's intellectual, whether it's spiritual, whether it's physical. You fight the devil to win. You fight the lower self to win. You feel me? Sometimes it got to be intellectual. You got to be very strategic. You follow me? Sometimes it got to be, uh, uh, you got to be witty. You got to outwit the devil. And the devil is manifested in people. We're not talking about some spooky thing under the ground. We're talking about the devilish acts of people. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to be witty. Sometimes you got to be patient. Sometimes you got to let the devil show his whole hand. That's what I did to Sinetta. I just let him kept talking week after week after week after week. When he was doing them videos, I just let him kept talking. Inky, I did the same thing. I just let him keep talking week after week after week after week. And while they were talking, I was bringing more research, more research, more research, more research. Just like these people that's still talking right now, while they talking, I ain't saying nothing. Y'all don't see them because they don't have enough views and they don't have an audience like Morris World TV. But while they talking, I'm just piling up the information. So as they build up their credibility, which is not credible at all, when they get attention to the level where I'm ready to pull out the big guns, I just pull out the big gun. Pain, 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 pain. And they might be like, wow, man, she, where you get that from? Man, while they was running their mouth, I was piling it up. I was stockpiling intellectual arsenal. While they was talking crazy about me, making up stuff, 
I say, okay, you too. Okay, bam. I'm just going to pile up the arsenal. You know what I'm saying? Because social media is not going nowhere. Your name is everything. Defend your name. If you have a social media platform, I'm telling you, especially what they call black YouTube, dead YouTube, I'm telling you, you better prepare to defend your name if people come to attack you. Your name is all you got. You follow me? Your name is all you got. Don't let nobody throw mud or, or, or smut on your name. And if they do, you just sit back. You just sit back and wait on the Lord. And when the Lord see the time for you to deliver your message, you deliver your message. And you deliver it with grace. You don't deliver it with malice. You don't deliver it with the intent to bring up or conjure up your lower self. But you deliver it with the intent to take out that lower vibration. Don't ever work from your lower self. Don't ever work from your base self. Always work from your divine self. Even if you got to administer justice, always work from the divine self. See this type of thing that I'm doing right now? People don't understand it because they're so used to the Christian philosophy of turn the other cheek. You know, that's what they're used to. For my Christian brothers and sisters, I say to you also, no, you have the right and the power that God Almighty gives you to defend yourself intellectually. But now, never seek revenge. That's not good. And now, that's a thin line. You know, responding and seeking revenge is a thin line. So ask yourself, am I seeking revenge or I'm responding? Am I reporting? Am I bringing awareness? You feel what I'm saying? Because what I'm doing here <coughs> is really bringing awareness to many, many people who would thought a month ago, they would have thought that Nepal was a reasonable option for Bible intelligence. They would have thought that. But those who have watched Moorish World TV, they would no longer consider that. They would no longer consider that. They would look other places for Bible intelligence. That's right. They would look other places. They won't look for Bible intelligence from people who do not live it themselves. That, that doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense. And so when people try to tell you, sell you some nonsense, the first thing you want to ask yourself, do they live it themselves? If I try to, if I try to persuade you into the ways of a Moorish American, the first thing you want to ask is, do I live it myself? And what is that? And what is that Moorish American? What is it? What is it? I mean, educate yourself on the matter. Don't let somebody like Sidenetta bring out some, some YouTube search or some uh, Google search and try to educate you into something that they never lived themselves. They never lived this stuff themselves. They children are not. Uh, uh, half of these people, uh, uh, I will guarantee you, if you went into Nepal's family, you wouldn't find her children living a Hebrew lifestyle. You wouldn't find her close-knit family living a Hebrew lifestyle, you and I know. So why would you come on the internet and try to sell me something that you are not even living in your own home with no furniture? Why would you try to sell me that? You can't sell me that. And I'm not going to sit around after you attack me and let you sell that to the people. See, what you need to do is leave me alone. So I never snuck a video in last week. Talking slick. He talking about a woman. Why don't he talk about me? That's a, I, I, I'm talking about the devil, wherever the devil may be. Whether it's in a sister or whether it's in a brother. I'm talking about the devil. And you two will in cahoots together. There you go. There you go. You two will in cahoots together. Some people want to talk. Okay, let me put the link up here real quick. 
All right, I'm about to share the link. I'm a um. I'm gonna bring you in. I'm gonna bring y'all into. Uh, give me one second. Let me put the link up. Ah uh, man, I only go. I only put the link up for a few minutes. Uh, come on now, this this is sure is good show. But I guess I I I I, I let people talk if they want to. Let's go. All right, there the link. There you go, Crip. There the link. Can anybody see it? There the link. Come on in. You're going to be on TaHawkaBay.com now. That's right. This is the danger, the most dangerous site on the internet, TaHawkaBay.com. The most realest. The most realest site on the internet, TaHawkaBay.com. Shout out, shout out to JW. JW say, get them likes up. That's right. Get them likes up, family. 152 likes. We had over 400 some people in the chat. Now we got 362. I know the rest of everybody else, the, the, you know, there's usually 600 some people here uh, normally. So I don't worry about my numbers on YouTube because the number on the website looking good. Everybody gone to the YouTube. I mean, uh, to the website. So I salute everybody to the website family. Uh, I think on Tuesday, I'm going to have another uh, phenomenal uh, stream on, uh, the website. I mean, I'm gonna try to be consistent. Uh, anybody that's on the throne, I ask you to. Uh, I'm trying to phase out the throne. Once I phase out the throne, then I'm gonna have. I'm gonna create another page tomorrow, so everybody know. Um, I'm gonna create another page on the website, so everybody will know what the show will be about in the coming days. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm possibly gonna have a Wednesday show. A research show. You follow me? <laughs> With that being said, Ben sure. did that cash is. What's happening, brother? What's up, Kamikaze Bay? Hey, hey, I told him that I'm going to go all out. Why are they playing with me? See, yeah, man. you know what, yeah. they, hey, what they banking on is that they believe in this religious thing in a way that grandma now believed in it. And they think, oh, he religious. He ain't going to do nothing. You got to be out your mind. You want to tell you what I think, my brother? Come on, brother. Seriously, since I've been checking all of that out, I, I said, man, she lives some kind of double secret life or something. I don't even think it's really about the Hebrews. I think it's about that mighty, mighty, mighty dollar. Yeah. It's the love of money, the root of all of you. I think she's trying to get some side dollars from somewhere. That's just my opinion. Well, I, I can tell you this. Through my research, what I could have brought out, right? Let me let me get Jason. Jason in. But through my research, what I brought out, is law of peace, brother. Through my research, what I brought out is that she was a bona fide Catholic. This is why she knew the Bible so well. You understand what I'm saying? She knew, right. she knew the Bible so well is because she's, she's, I don't know what Spanish persuasion she's in she is. I don't know what Spanish persuasion she is or what ethnicity of, 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 of um, Latina she is. But she of some Latina origin. And we all know that south of the border, they love Catholicism. They love it. You know what I'm saying? And so she is very fluent in the Bible. And so her becoming a Hebrew Israelite by name wouldn't be, wouldn't throw people off because she knew verses of the Bible. And you know, our Hebrew Israelite brother, they are are serious about the interpretation and the education of the Bible. So she could slide in there. You feel me? But now, when we start, I'm sorry, brother. But one second. But now, when she start to interpret it, she start to tell on herself. Because we know what a true Hebrew River like talk sound like when they start breaking down that Bible. Yes, Ain't sir. nobody touching them. So, Let's keep it a buck. Ain't nobody touching them. And you ain't doing them a blue or cover, brother. And you so, blew it. And so in our community, and this is what I want to teach, in our community, we should be able to go to our Hebrew Israelite brother and say, brother, we got a fraud over here. What this Bible verse about right. over here? We shouldn't right. be like, oh, you a Hebrew, I'm a Moor. You're supposed to come to me and say, man, we got a Moorish brother over here talking this to Agabay. I heard right, you right. proficient in that. What you got? We should be able to go to our Islamic brother of the Eastern persuasion and say what they talking about. 
You feel what I'm saying? This is called unity. I don't know why people think unity is you calling yourself a more, me calling myself a Christian, you yeah, all of us calling ourselves one thing. We ain't it. never been one right. thing. Well, all of that is just that's exactly right. Really. Man, you hitting it on the head, boy. We yeah, ain't I said, never been one this thing. Is show. Boy, I've been rocking with you a long time, Mo. But I tell you, the night it capped the bottle, one of them old Coca-Cola bottles with the with the little glass bottle with the old cap. You had to peel off and get the dime back when you turn it back in. Let me let you me know? thank let me thank Rashida Terry sending a hundred dollars in the uh super chat. I really thank you and I appreciate you. That shows me that you appreciate the research. All of those that share, all of those that like also shows me that you appreciate the research. Thank you so much, family, and I appreciate you. Let me get Jason in real quick. Don't go that bit that cash. You know we've been riding Thank for you. a minute. I'm, uh, I'm rocking with you. I'm rocking with you. I'm on mute my mic. And then I want to get Sister Lightbearer in because Sis been riding with me for quite some time too. So let me get Jason in real quick. What you got, brother? It's long. It's long. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I, I so appreciate you, bro. I so appreciate you. Can you hear me? I can hear you well, bro. I can hear you well, bro. I'm just taking yeah. it in. I'm just taking it in, man, because a lot of people would think that I do this in malice. But when you say I so appreciate you, that means you understand that I'm doing something that probably no one else would venture out and do. And it would never get yeah. done. Exactly. I'm going to get a book, man. I was in all up in your chat. Yeah. You say, say what your name was? The, the ghetto gourmet JC. Oh, oh! <laughs> salute, salute! I'm gonna be that more you can remember. Salute, you know salute. what I'm saying? Salute, my yeah, brother. No, listen, listen. It's it, my only thing that I wanted to chime in about is um, not mad at the sexuality, but just be righteous in your presentation in the public because we all have a public life, a private life, and a secret life. Just keep it real and don't be scamming. Listen, you didn't change the game up so much like the Matrix movie changed the movie industry. And and listen, when I was saying I, I got another $3.99 on deck, you know what I'm saying? For all that we was getting, the information, the exposure. Because listen, let's just keep it real. Most of us brothers, we're not kicking her out of our bed. Let's just keep it real. We're not kicking her out of our bed. But just be righteous. And she is suffering from a lack of leadership. Right. Righteous leadership. You can be the, uh, all the freak that I want you to be. And if we're being honest, that was very appealing. But she is being led wrong. Now, she could have been wrong, but when she came to that so-called man... She should have been led right. A scam is a scam is a scam. And I just want to give you a shout out to, to my brother, to the Grand Sheik, Islam Tahaka Bay. Listen, I ain't going to take up too much of your time. I just wanted to show you that love. Your 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 research, your knowledge, you, you like um, Barnaby Jones. You know what I'm saying? The black <laughs> Barnaby Jones. You know what I'm saying? The black Matlock. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you so much. Islam, kick me out of here and get somebody else right. I got you, here. my brother. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. man, man, let me tell you something. That's what inspires me to keep this channel going. That's what inspires me to say, man, let me dig into the next research. And I don't want to do it in malice. That's one thing I don't want to come off. I want to come off and say, listen, keep your eyes open because our people now, some people would say, well, why are you always focused on our people? Because I feel as though if we can check ourselves, then no one else can enter in. If we can check ourselves, if we can fix ourselves, if we can acknowledge the predator from within, then there is no predator from without that can penetrate and get in. There is no, no European, no Chinese, no Russian. Nobody can penetrate if we stop playing games with ourselves. It's like you said the other day, Grand C. We gotta, we we have to fix our own problem within our own community. That's it's, right. It's, 
Let me say this. Fight. Let me say this before I bring Light Bearer in. How many times that we gonna say the white man the devil? I'm telling you. I'm telling white man sitting back laughing. At what the white man the devil, but you keep putting your hand in my pocket. <laughs> you look like me, keep putting your hand in my pocket. You looking like me pulling out the burner on me. Right. You looking like me dragging my sister up into an alley or something. You looking right. like me trying to intellectually beat me down because you think you're more intelligent me than me. And it's saying Pol polite, you think you're more intelligent than me. Sonetta, you think you're more wittier than me. You YouTubers out there trying to cash in, you think you more uh, 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 intelligent and more wittier and that you are going to take me to the cleaners and people right. that look like me. But you won't try to intellectually take them Europeans to the cleaners. Right. You won't go down Chinatown to take them to the cleaners. You won't go down there and try to sell them some fugazi plagiarized book. You won't go down there and sell them on how to get some land that uh, 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 free and clear off right. some UCC. You won't go to sell that to them. Why are you selling that to me? I appreciate your passion, man. You just passionate about it. Yeah, That's why are you I'm... selling that to me? You feel what I'm right. saying, though? Why are you selling that to me? Why won't you go down to Chinatown and go tell the Chinese people how they can get some land uh, free and clear? Why don't you go down there and sell some of the Mexicans' nationality? Because they want to be citizens. They're talking about these fake Moors. These fake Moors selling nationality. Why don't they go down there and sell some of these Mexicans that cross the border? They want a nationality so they can be here in the country as a legal citizen. Go sell it to them. The Mexicans will drag you up in the alley and cut your head off. Yeah, man. Come on, man. So that's my problem with these fake Moors and all of these fake conscious brothers and sisters trying to sell us redemption. Don't sell me redemption. Don't sell me redemption. If you want to sell me redemptions, come with me and get your hands dirty. Come with me and put your money where your mouth is. Let's build you something can. for real. You see them? You see them right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I got a lot going on, brother. That's <laughs> why I, I probably, that's why I love you, brother. I'm telling you. It's, it's deep. I, we got to hook up. I'm trying to tell you. I got a lot going, oh, bro. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Let me get out. I'll be trying to, be trying to mess you. But go ahead and get sister. Uh, I ain't gonna hold you. I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you. And I'm coming with more dynamic shows after this. Come on. Come on, baby. I'm with you. You know I'm with you. I'm riding to the wheels fall off, and then we're gonna slide together after that. <laughs> Peace and love, my brother. Salute. Peace and love. Sister Lightbearer, you're gonna be the last one tonight. What you think, sis? Oh, I let me I say this first. Let me say this first. This is the most beautiful mm -hmm. thing of the night. This is the most beautiful part of the night to have a sister to chime in as I just presented the information on a sister. You see what I'm saying? So the floor is yours and uh, you take it from here. Yeah, I highly appreciate your research. It, it's, you know, it's great. I, I, you know, it's amazing. Um, it's deep. <laughs> you be doing some deep research into these people. And, uh, you know, I love researching. I love research. Um, like you were saying earlier um, about the white man being the devil, he knows he's our devil. He knew that since 1996, even before that. But he figured it out in 1996 after he did his scientific science. And, um, but he does not want us to recognize our true enemy, which is here which is who he is using against us is our own mind. Did yep. I stop? No, Did you're good. You're good. You froze, but you I still hear you. Okay, let me put this on the chart here. Yeah, he doesn't want us to recognize our true enemy. It's our own self. Come on, sis. Just, Say it one more time we, for the fools in the back. He doesn't want us to recognize that we are our own enemy. Woo! Our own minds, and he has you like as a mind, and we're non strand DNA. There's no reason why we, at this time, when we're getting all this information, all this stuff that we can go back and research for ourselves, all this information that I feed over here, 
if we can't dig into things, you know, mm. to find out about ourselves. You know what's funny? To, it's, I don't mean to cut your wisdom, sis, but I want to catch mm -hmm. that thought. You know what's funny to me is, I mean, I, I appreciate people who support the channel. I'm telling you, y'all give me the ability to do this research because it does take time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to have to work or I'm going to have to do some research. I'm going to have to fit it in. And for years, I've, I've, I've done this on YouTube. But, you know, when people uh, purchase a membership or something like that, it actually frees me up from doing the physical work that I do. Mm -hmm. But now for those, but now for, for those brothers, say like, and I don't want to harp on it. Say like an Inky, for example, selling mm -hmm. an eight ounce bottle. What is this? This is an eight ounce bottle of mm -hmm. sea marsh gel for 30 to $40. When in fact, as I showed on the show one day, all you have to do is go to the store and get the same thing for $20 and do a YouTube search and a YouTube video or do a little educational research on Google and you can make your own gel and you can make two gallons of it. You can make two gallons mm -hmm. of it. You don't know what this guy is doing in his kitchen. Why are we so trusting? Why are we so, tr you're gonna ingest something in your body that somebody is making in their kitchen that you have, there is no regulatory things going or centered around to regulate, there's mm -hmm. nothing to regulate it, nothing whatsoever, mm -hmm. nothing. And we are just that trusting. Exactly. If anything, our people should be if they're watching these people, they should take it upon themselves to see that we can do that ourselves. For example, my cousin, she used to follow him, but then she decided to go to school and to be a naturalist, to be a to be an herbalist. So she's actually making her own herbal medicine and stuff like that and i will guarantee you if she compare what she has learned in school legitimately she will find mm -hmm. out that he don't know what he's talking about well she don't follow him she stopped following him like yeah you. but i'm just saying because if you go to school to be an herbologist or something like that and you look mm -hmm. at these youtube scholars they have no credentials of any accredited school as it relates to the field that they're discussing on youtube exactly. None. Exactly. That stuff be made up. Mm -hmm. And we are so trusted. But like you said, the powers that be mm -hmm. know that the greatest weapon that he has is the control of our mind. Exactly. Yeah. That's his greatest weapon. The moment mm -hmm. that we begin to think for ourselves, like, you can't sell me something. No, you can't sell me something. Before somebody can sell me something, you're going to have to show and prove to me that it actually works. Now, for example, me and my brothers, Elder, R. Edwards L. Ran sheep. 60-some years old. We in the temple one day here in Baltimore. And we are on 25th Street. It's near 25th and Greenmount. And it's a real tough neighborhood. So, a guy walks in there with some internet nonsense. Brother, would you let me to teach uh, 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 one Saturday in the temple on how you can get a million dollars from your birth certificate? It's called the birth certificate, birth certificate redemption. The idea is that your birth certificate has a number, a certificate number, and that number is sold on the stock market. Right? Mm -hmm. And now... You can redeem the worth of your birth certificate by going through the certain process. And when you redeem it, you are able to get whatever it's worth on the stock market. And normally they say it's worth like a million dollars on the stock market, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the Grand Sheik there, I was in a Grand Sheik then. It was I was a little younger. I was in a Grand Sheik then. The Grand Sheik there say, well, you know. Uh, tell me some more about this. Tell me some more about this. And I'm being young, feisty, and all that. I said, hold up, hold up, Grand Sheik. 
let's see his million dollar check first. Before we hear anything else, we need to see if we if he can show us the million dollar check that he got from his redemption of the birth certificate, then we should move forward. But other than that, we just wasting time. I got things to do. Right. The guy, the guy, so the grand sheik said, yeah. Did you get a million dollars? The guy said, well, I'm still working on it. Say, bro, once you get that, come back and you can teach the class, right? Mm -hmm. We left out, because we was about to close the temple out. We left out the temple. I jumps in my car. The Grand Sheik went in another direction with, uh, with some other brothers. Mm -hmm. The guy went and stood on a bus stop. But he's going to mm -hmm. teach us how to get this redemption. And this is what I'm saying, sis. In our community, all we got to do is look at the person trying to sell us something and ask exactly. us, what are they doing? Exactly. Yeah. How can Sonetta, how can Sonetta sell us anything in opposition of the Bible and he's living foul? Exactly. I wonder, you know, I looked at that when I saw this lady on there. You know, I used to follow Sonetta, but it kind of, I kind of left there because looking at Nepal, I was like, and then hearing what she said, I used to be Hebrew is an Israelite, you know, for a little short period of time until right. I recognized, you know, started seeing some other things and got led it led more into more ancient stuff like us, all of that. And um, you know, hearing her talk, I was like, this is a disgrace. <laughs> And I, I had to, I had to just, sometimes I just couldn't watch. I just couldn't be there. It's it, 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 it just, it's hard on the ears to watch that and hard mm -hmm. on your intelligence. Like you assault my intelligence when you talk. Mm -hmm. Stop playing with me. You know what I mean? Like, like, like I just made the point about Sinetta. How in the world mm -hmm. can Sinetta, uh speak down to the Bible when mm -hmm. his alternative is to sit live drinking Coronas and cussing people out? That's the alternative. Mm -hmm. the, the alternative that you offer mm -hmm. when you are in opposition of the Bible or the Quran or Christianity, Islam, or right. religion of any kind, your mm -hmm. alternative is what? Exactly. Is what? Exactly. I agree. Yeah. These, these people, yeah. are, people are goofy to buy into this stuff. They're crazy to buy into it. Your alternative is to sit there, cuss people out on YouTube, and beg for cash apps. That's your alternative for the person that can actually find wisdom in the Bible and turn mm -hmm. their life into another direction. Actually find mm -hmm. wisdom in the Quran and turn their life. I Listen, I'm a Moorish American Muslim to the bone. My family Moorish American Muslim. Mm -hmm. I look for the wisdom in being a Moorish American. I don't look for rituals. I don't look for cultural overtones. I don't look for how to dress. I don't, I mean, right. I wear fans. I mean, mm -hmm. I.